Robert Hefford and Manja.tv. You know, I'm a flatlander and bend a lot of times, but today I'm a fat, a fat, a flatlander at large. I'm in Portland, on the southeast side, great neighborhood, and I'm at a Chena rest, Restaurante, all right? I was introduced to this restaurant last year. I was blown away by the quality of food and their mission. We're gonna go inside and talk to Gabe. He's the chef. They call him chef. You know you got respect in the kitchen when people just call you a chef. They don't even call him Gabe anymore. All right, so let's take a walk inside and have ourselves a conversation. All right, Bob, nice Gabe, to see you. Gabriel or chef, what do you yeah. want? Uh, let's go with chef. Chef, yeah. all right. Let's have a seat and have a I'm conversation sure. about a chaina. All right, so I want to start the segment by just, Gabe, just telling you how I found a chain, obviously through a reference, but I was blown away from a chain or at a chain the first time I came. Well, beautiful, thank you. I came and the server had said that the Caprese salad was just on the menu. And I thought to myself, this is an Italian joint, how could the Caprese just make the menu? Then he went on to explain that they only put it on the menu when they have fresh in-season tomatoes, heirloom tomatoes. It was fantastic and it blew me away and started a pretty stiff argument with my brother who was in the restaurant business about fresh tomatoes and in a restaurant. Just tell us a little bit about that process. The reason we're very patient here, so you never know what the weather's gonna be like, and we get the majority of our tomatoes from the owner's house. So basically when he shows up with a big basket of tomatoes, we serve them. When we tell our cooks, it's like feel the tomatoes every day because we keep them out at room temperature. Never refrigerate your tomatoes, by the way. And then every day you feel them. And if they're starting to feel just right, you run with those that day. When they're a little firm, you're like, all right, save those for the next day. And that's it. You just have to be patient and really go through all your tomatoes and pick them out. And that way you get the sweetest, juiciest tomato there is. And you never end up with a tomato that could have just come off a lacrosse pitch. You know, and you actually almost break a tooth. I mean, one of my pet peeves yeah. is a restaurant that just doesn't care about the tomato. They'll throw anything on it. It's there. all right. The tomato is the best time of year. That's our main ingredient. I mean, right. with Italian food, everything is based on the tomato. All right. So if it's not 100%, can't use it. All right, Chef, tell me also um, about other ways that you source locally or, or, or build a, a menu about seasonality. Well, we try to use a lot of our purveyors are within 102 miles, 200 miles. So all the guys are at the local markets every week. They've been doing what they've been doing a long time. They take a lot of pride in what they do. And they do very small amounts. So our lamb guy will slaughter 20 lamb a week. And that's it. And when we don't have it, we don't have it. You know, we think of a backup plan. We bring another meat. So our pork guy, same thing. He'll bring six pigs. He brings us one pig a week. You know, so we're utilizing everything we can, but it's on a small amount every week. So that really helps drive the menu, the, the seasonality Everything is based on what we have. And there are days people come in and we're like, you know, I'm sorry, we're out of this. And you know, at the beginning, they're like, uh, but then they realize, you know, if the product's not available and it's not 100%, we're not going to serve it. We don't right. have it. We've and got I, other options. We've talked about this at length on Maja TV about when people start voting for that thing, that style, that, the way to put a restaurant together with their wallet, it really... It really changes things, and obviously you guys have been hitting it out of the park because this is what, your eighth year here? It's been going great, yeah. Eight years, and we're going strong, and it gets better and better. So this is one of our dishes you're going to try right Whoa, now, Bob. look at this. Yeah. It was like a magic show. You just, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, how do you yeah, hide a guy? What's your name? Carter. Carter. Carter just showed up like a magic show. <laughs> Me and Carter, we, we, you couldn't pull us out of a cake, I don't think, right? So, yeah. Carter, are you going to sing the dish? Come on, uh, All right. Uh, we have, uh, hold, on, hold on, hold on, come on. Sweet corn and yellowdi uh, and poached lobster. Uh, the ravioli is filled with uh, sweet corn filling, some mascarpone, and uh, some cream. So the we... corn's coming from Salvi's Island, it's down the road here. Okay. The lobster is the only thing that we're sourcing out from the Atlantic. Okay. Because you know what? The first day we put this on the on the menu, people raved about it. We can't take it off. So we're doing the, All the right, one yeah. thing we ship in is lobster. Well, we, you know, but it, it works. You know, Manja TV it. lives by guidelines. Yeah, Not rules, so, right? And try it. You gotta dig uh, in with a top. See what you think. All right, listen, everybody, stand back. First of all, you know that you gotta bust open one of the raviolis. Oh my god! Right. 
right? That's that's all we need from you. <laughs> uh, I got nothing to say. That's our best selling oh, dish. Oh my god, we sell you know, so I mean, many of those. You know, the corn part of it is so subtle. I'm telling you, and it's simple. It's corn, butter, lobster with a little mascarpone, finished with a little sea salt. I mean, you're looking five ingredients. That's it, but it's just very clean. Oh I mean, it's just my god, yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. All right, well, now what do you guys do for desserts? Uh, desserts. Right now, we're doing a summer berry zabayone. So, nice glass, all different summer berries coming from around here. Uh, zabayone is basically a whipped custard. Think of a sweet and hollandaise. Marsala, sugar, egg, all took together really light, right over the fruit. Uh, and you know, I was just in Vancouver, just north of here, and I was blown away how long the berry season here is oh, yeah. in the northwest. We get a second wave of raspberries, blackberries. Also, it's been a hot summer. I mean, right. it's been really hot. So it's been good as far as product. It's amazing. All right. And then an extensive wine list here. Beautiful wine list, yes. I mean, Chris, the owner, is really in charge of the wine list. And, I mean, if you ever have any questions, make sure you talk to him. He's like, yeah, but anything you need. I mean, we got the Magnums. We got smaller yeah. bottles. A chain of, they got it all covered, and it all started for me with the love affair with a ripe tomato. I mean, you know, love comes in many packages. I like a ripe tomato. All right, listen, Chef Gabe, thank you so much Bob, for anytime, spending man. some time with us. My cameraman, gaffer, sound guy, <laughs> right? Adam, production assistant. Me and him are going to finish demolishing you guys go for this. It, right? I got the fam coming in to enjoy a chana this evening. And Monday, tune in to a cooking vamp. I was just in Vancouver, as I said, and we demolished about eight plates of poutine. And I'm going to go over the whole poutine thing uh, that I experienced in Vancouver. That's Monday at 6.30 on my cooking vamp. Do yourself a favor. Cook somebody a meal. Tune in soon to Manja.TV. Thanks, Gabe. No problem. Anytime. Right on. All right. That's a wrap. Hit the red button.